Hello and big welcome to all of you students. Here I am again, your teacher Sudipta Nath with Kinematics and Theory of Machines. And today we are discussing about the third part of the module 2 that is on slider crank mechanism. So velocity vector of a slider crank mechanism, if you are going to express or explain about it, then you will find out that first take the image of the slider crank mechanism in the uh, slide you can see that there is a crank OA which is rotating in anti-clockwise direction and AB that is a rocker or uh, connecting rod and B that is the slider block which is supported on a fixed uh, support that is point C that you can see. So over here OA AB both are hinge joints and they are making a turning pair while BC is making a sliding pair and OC obviously is a stationary link. So OA is the crank, AB is the connecting rod, B is the slider and OC is the fixed link over here. Now crank OA has one end O which is fixed in and end A which is rotating in anti-clockwise direction as I have told you already with omega 1 angular velocity in, at any instant. So the tangential velocity component VAO acts perpendicular to the link OA as shown in figure. Here it is. So you can see right now that the tangential component VAO is acting outward direction tangentially making 90 degree with OA, link OA. So accordingly the direction of rotation of link AB is in the clockwise direction. It has to happen with omega 2 as we have shown angular velocity for the inertia of the component hence the center of rotation of the joint end A that we are getting. Here we find the tangential velocity component VBA acts perpendicular to the link AB as shown in figure with angular velocity omega 2. Clear? Okay. Finally we get that the slider block B makes a linear motion towards the left hand side with VBC or velocity of B with respect to C as velocity component. It acts along the line of motion. Clear? So we are proceeding forward to the next slide. So here you can see that is the velocity vector of a slider current mechanism when we are going to analyze the velocity diagram. So if you know the direction of motion of, of, of the three vectors that is VAO, VBC and VBA then by knowing only any one of the magnitude of the vector, the magnitude of all other two vectors could be found out easily. So we have to construct the velocity diagram simply by drawing the parallel lines one after the other. That is we have to construct the parallel lines VAO, VBA and VBC. Suppose we know the magnitude of VAO. So over here in the bottom of the bottom left hand side of the slide you can see that is VAO. It has been constructed. So what we are going to do next that is we have to draw the parallel line VBA and we will elongate it in the downward direction as shown. And then again VBC as I have told that we have to construct it again and we have to elongate it in the left hand direction. So there will be one intersection point. So this intersection point will actually determine that what should be the magnitude of this particular two vectors. So over here you see that O and C, these two are stationary links. So all the stationary links are concentrated at one single point as we know already. And A and B, these two links, they are uh, shown in small script over here and very much distinct and clearly shown in this particular figure. So just to tease your brain, if you have understood the previous situation, I am giving you a figure over here. Not exactly them, uh, exactly the previous figure, but similar to the previous figure. That is, it is one step of the slider crank mechanism, where OA is the crank, AB is the connecting rod, and B is the slider block, which is being supported on C. Now look at the figure given. Try to figure out the tendency of direction of rotation of the link AB. I repeat, the link AB. AB is nothing but it is the connecting rod. Now consider the end B to rotate around the end A. I repeat, 
consider the end B has got a tendency due to inertia to rotate around end A. Now try to draw the velocity diagram of the given slider crank mechanism, approximate slider crank mechanism, if you can. If you can do it, then send it uh, to the email which I am providing here uh, in the description box below. Let us proceed forward to solve a numerical problem. The crank and the connecting rod of a theoretical steam engine are 0.5 meter and 2 meter long respectively. The crank makes 180 rpm in the clockwise direction when it has turned 45 degree from the inner dead center position. Now determine number 1 velocity of the piston, number 2 angular velocity of the connecting rod, number 3 velocity of the point E on the connecting rod 1.5 meter from the guardian pin and number 4 position of the in linear velocity of any point G on the connecting rod which has the least velocity related to the crankshaft. Now this is the figure which is provided. It's called a space diagram. So over here in the space diagram you can see that is O2B is denoted by the crank which is having a length of 0.5 meter. B2P that is actually the length of the connecting rod which is 2 meter long and over here B2E it has got a particular length and B2G that also it is provided over here and it is rotating in clockwise direction with angular velocity of 180 rpm which is provided. Now inner dead center and outer dead center everything is very much clear. So we what we have to do that is omega that is angular velocity of B with respect to O that we have to find out first that is 2 pi into 180 by 60 so we are getting 18.8 to radian per second. Now since the crank length OB equal to 0.5 meter therefore linear velocity of B with respect to O or velocity of B because OB is a fixed point that is velocity of B with respect to O that is angular velocity multiplied by the length of the link that is 18.852 into 0.5 that is 9.426 meter per second which is perpendicular to BO link. So continuation that is velocity of the piston if you want to find out, so first of all we have to draw the space diagram, the some suitable scale, now draw the vector OB perpendicular to BO to some suitable scale to represent the velocity of B with respect to O or velocity of B such that the vector OB small o small b that is equal to VBO or velocity of B with respect to O that is equal to 9.426 meter per second. Then from the point B, if you are having any doubt then you can pause this video and repeat my words once again and just return back and then just go through it again and again okay so from point b draw the vector bp perpendicular to bp link length bp capital b capital p to represent the velocity of p with respect to b that is velocity of p with respect to b and from the point o draw the vector op parallel to po to represent the velocity of the p with respect to O that is velocity P with respect to O P, P O. These vectors they are going to intersect at point P small p which is very much horizontal in nature and you can see on the given diagram which is the right side of the slide. By measurement we can find the velocity of the piston that is P that is velocity P with respect to O that is vector O P that is 8.15 meter per second. Approximately we are going to get this value if we are doing it correctly. So we are getting one particular part of the answer. So next angular velocity of the connecting rod that we have to find out. So from the velocity diagram we find that the velocity of P with respect to B that is VPB that is vector B with respect to P that is 6.8 meter per second. Since the length of the connecting rod PB is 2 meter therefore angular velocity of the connecting rod that we are getting omega pb that is vpb by pb that is 6.8 by 2 that is 3.4 radian per second in anti-clockwise direction. Remember whenever you are finding out the angular velocity of any particular link do not forget to mention whether it is rotating in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. It is very much important otherwise you may lack some mark. Now velocity of point E capital E on the connecting rod. The velocity of point E on the connecting rod 
is at a distance of 1.5 meter from the guardian pin. So PE that is equal to 1.5 meter. If you are having any doubt, just skip the previous two, two slides and uh, return back and see, have a look that I have told over there that is P equal to 1.5 meter, which is determined by dividing the vector BP at E in the same ratio as E is divided in PB. Now join OE, the vector OE represent the velocity of capital E. By measurement, we find that the velocity of point E that is V equal to vector OE that is 8.5 meter per second that is the answer. Now for this particular type of problem, intentionally they are going to provide you a very simple and very easy ratio. So over here it was 1.5 divided by 2 meter. So you know the answer will be 3 by 4 meter. So like that they are going to give you the same or similar type of ratio. So you are getting the simple ratio value of 3 by 4 or 4 by 5 or 5 by 7 or similar something like this. So over here you are going to get 3 is to 4 ratio or 3 by 4 ratio that is from B to P and P to E like that. So finally you are going to get the velocity of point E that is equal to with respect to O obviously that is 8.5 meter per second. So as I told simply just do the same thing. Now uh, for the other part of the problem that is position and linear velocity of the point G this is the most important part on the connecting rod which has got minimum velocity related to crankshaft. Now least or minimum velocity. Otherwise if you are making the velocity diagram you cannot find out because least or minimum velocity that is nothing but from a particular point if you draw a perpendicular on that particular line then only you are going to get the minimum distance or least uh, possible vector value that is the magnitude of the vector will be minimum or least. So in this situation also you have to draw a line that is VG as you can see on the given figure that is OG small o small g you have to draw which is making an angle of 90 degree which is perpendicular uh, from point G and it is meeting at point O. So finally you are going to get a vector that is VG with respect to O. So we find that the vector VG equal to 5 meter per second with respect to the scaling factor. The position of the point G on the connecting rod is obtained as follows. Now BG by BP equal to small bg by small bp that is nothing but capital BG by capital BP or capital BG equal to BG by BP into BP. So all the values previous values that as we know that is BG equal to 5 and 6.8 equal to BP. So multiplied by capital BP that is nothing but the 2 meter. So we are going to get um, the value of capital BG that is 1.47 meter. So this is the answer that finally we got. By measurement we find that the linear velocity of point G that is vector OG equal to 8 meter per second. So that's all for today's class and more um, videos are upcoming and uh, I hope that it is useful for you and uh, meanwhile let me make some new videos for you people if you are having any doubts if you are having uh, any doubts related to numerical problem you can directly uh, write it down in the comment box below or you can contact me i will try to make new videos to help you out thank you very much